In this video, I'll show you the business side of AI. I will discuss how you can integrate AI in your business practices. We'll be talking about writing leases, contracts, generating product name ideas, generating product ideas, and generating new business leads. We're going to talk about what AI means for the future of business. And this is just more about having a different mental framework. But the skills of the future are going to be different than the skills of today. It's going to become more important to be a generalist who delegates responsibilities to the different AI tools available, simply because there will be an abundance of AI tools available, and they're going to be so quick at executing whatever task you give them. So the idea of prompt engineering and coming up with working with the right prompts is going to be so much important in the years to come. That's why I'd highly recommend to download my prompt engineering guide, which consists of 17 pages with detailed prompt engineering analysis, examples, and use cases. It's really going to change into this space of delegation where you are leveraging the AI tools you have available to you so that you can be 10x more productive. But that is going to be necessary in an environment where everybody else is doing the same thing. Now let's start by generating new business ideas with the help of ChatGPT. I'll start with a prompt as please give me 10 ideas for new products in emerging markets. So here are 10 ideas that were generated for me and a lot of these are pretty interesting. I'm pretty interested in this biodegradable packaging. So let's ask a little bit more about that. So we're going to ask what do I need to know about biodegradable packaging in order to start a biodegradable packaging business. Great. And I just wanted to mention that this is how you could start a business from scratch, a brand new business that maybe you haven't ever thought of before. But obviously you can use these same techniques for a business that you've already had in mind. Okay, so let's take a look at this a little bit. I'm seeing there are some standards and certifications involved, and there are certainly a world of questions that have opened up for me. Now, normally, if I was serious about pursuing this, I would go down and follow up all of these questions. But for now, we're just kind of going to jump ahead a little bit just for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to ask, give me a list of 10 ideas that could use biodegradable packaging. Great. So we have a list of some really good ideas here. Please give me a step-by-step -step guide on how to create biodegradable packaging for popcorn. So, once you've exhausted your search, asking all the questions that you need to know, looking at all the different areas, really thinking through all the aspects of your product, then finally you're going to need a name and a company slogan. So please give me 10 business name ideas for a company that makes biodegradable packaging for popcorn. Great. I like the bio kernels. So I'm going to say, please give me a business slogan for number two. Nice. Please give me 10 more options. Great. I really like this one. As a different example, let's improve a product description that already exists. We can write one from scratch or we can grab one from Google. So I'm going to jump here to a New Earth product, which is a sustainable packaging company. Let's look at their products. Let's look at this bag. Here are the details. So let's grab this description. It's pretty short. Please rewrite the following description, but make it more exciting and engaging. And I'm pasting in the description that we saw. Great. This looks like a healthier paragraph to me. Please make this more concise and funnier. Nice. This looks way more engaging. If this was your product, I'm sure you would iterate this a few more times, but this is just to show you how you can come up with the best that you can do on your own and then get some help along the way and find something that you're truly proud of. So this was a quick example on how you can use these tools to help generate new business ideas. Now let's do another example to generate some unique product names. Here we can say something like, make variations of these two words into a list of 10 unique product names and description for a meditation app using the words mind and bliss. These look pretty good. Mindies isn't bad, but let's try again without using the word mind or bliss. Great. So maybe in this process you found exactly what you were looking for, but maybe you want to try a slightly different approach. Please blend any of the following words into a product name for a meditation app. Bliss, mind, serenity, harmony. Tranquil Calms, and or Euphoria. Nice. Please give me 10 different names like Mindful Bliss. Nice. Now I'm going to say please try again and be more creative and unique. Don't use the word mindful. Nice. Let's say I like number 1 and number 5. I'll ask, please give me more options like number 1 and 5. This is just an example about how you can keep iterating until you find something that really lights you up that you get excited about and how you can use this tool to really generate the perfect product name for you. Now we're going to be talking about insights for business. For this example, I will run a mushroom coffee brand. Please give me 10 ideas for my mushroom coffee brand. So here you can see it's giving a mixture of feedback of different product ideas and campaigns. I'm going to ask where are some emerging markets for my brand. These are actually some fantastic answers. A lot of these I actually haven't thought of. So this is some really valuable information here. Now I'm going to ask who's my target audience. That's great. 
So now I have a list of emerging markets and places to sell my product. I have a list of things I should do with my brand, and I am getting a better, clearer picture of who my target audience is. Let's say that I know that number one is the right answer for who my target audience is, and I want to know a little bit more about them. So now I'm going to ask, please tell me about the habit profile and demographic of number one. Please tell me about the habit profile and demographic in tabular format with as many description columns as possible. Great. So now we will ask what are some current trends for this audience. Awesome. So we now know a lot more about who our target audience is, and we know some current trends going on that they will probably be interested in, which really gives us a focus and a target to hit with our mushroom coffee brand. Just as a quick side note, we'll ask where are some upcoming generational trends for my brand. And here is some really useful information to compare. So you can see a quick little overview about what appeals to the different generations. You can cross-reference that with who your target audience is. And now you know so much more about what you're doing and what your intentions should be and can be with your mushroom coffee brand. So now we know so much more than we did five minutes ago. Next, we'll be talking about communication and split testing. So we'll stick with our mushroom coffee brand here and we're going to say, write two marketing emails for my mushroom coffee brand. So right away, getting to work, it is writing us two different emails and you can run a split testing marketing campaign, running the two different emails against each other to see which performs better and then you know which email you want to put all of your effort into. And I just really want to show you that you can ask ChatGPT to do two things at once. You really don't have to do things one by one and get in the mindset of saving time, not only by using the product, but by using the product in a way that saves you time from having to use it even more. Now we can write two Facebook ads for my product, one that's warm and inviting, and one that's informative geared towards my target audience. And we're pulling the target audience from the chat above. It also generated a description of an image of our coffee brand in its packaging. By the way, you can grab my pack of 1,000 prompts for Midjourney and Leonardo AI, which contains over 30 different categories for ease of use and are organized in a Notion page. Link is in the video description. Now let's talk about using AI to write you a lease. We're going to ask to draft a commercial lease for a Florida-based property with a one-year term and two one-year extensions. Amazing. It is recommended that you should consult with a licensed attorney to draft a lease agreement specific to your needs, but you can see the head start that you can get in just a matter of seconds. Moreover, you can also use the find and replace function. Please replace the word landlord with the name Sam. Now we use Sam as the landlord, tenant shall pay rent to Sam, etc. I urge some caution. Please consult with a professional before making any financial or contractual agreements, but I just wanted to show you the head start that you can get in just a matter of seconds by using this tool. Now let's talk about writing contracts for business. Here's my prompt, write me a two-paragraph contract agreement licensing a composition to a buyer. The buyer does not get the intellectual property of the composition, only the right to use it in a project. They can only use it in the movie Maslow and nothing else. Amazing. Here you go, we have an agreement. We can iterate on it, we can add to it. I highly recommend, of course, always checking with a professional before you make any contractual, financial, or legal agreements, but this gives you a huge head start. Now let's do another example. Please write me a contract for hiring a bass player to perform live with my band for five concerts. The bass player will get $500 per show. This is great. Let's say you just wanted to add some modifications. Please add that the agreement can only be modified by written consent by both parties. Awesome. So you can see it added the modification that we wanted. This is how quickly you can draw out contracts using ChatGPT. Now we're going to talk about bulk marketing emails. Let's say I am selling this product here from Amazon. I can copy the link and I can say, write 10 emails that link to my product. Make sure the emails are sequential because I want to send them over a period of time. I want a lot of clicks to my affiliate link. Write with a positive and upbeat tone. Great. So we went ahead and now we have a template for sending out our emails sequentially. Now we're going to talk about quickly responding to your emails using AI. So you'll want to get this extension here. If you don't already have it, you can install it from the link in the video description. It has a little warning that it will read your data. If you're not comfortable with that, no worries. But if you install it, it'll show up in your Chrome bar. Click on it when you're in Gmail. You can generate replies to any email by clicking on this icon. You can enter your instructions as a prompt or let it handle it for you. And within seconds, your reply is ready. So this is how you can integrate AI in your business practices. Whether it's about starting a new business or to manage an existing business, ChatGPT is here to save your time. If you want to learn how to use ChatGPT inside all of your Microsoft Excel workbooks, check out this video.